Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Plane from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for watching my video. Today what I'm going to talk in my video is about physical unions. Physical unions are already happening with Twin Flame couples and they're going to continue happening for the first wave of people that are intended to be together, live together, the way that this is intended for, the way that you've had many lives. So before I get started, I'd like to backtrack a little bit, carry you into February. And what was February? Well, in a lot of places, February has had a tradition of uh, excess and then a carnival, a huge carnival, and then a sort of a spring cleaning. And what happens during some of these times? So you have several countries who have a tradition of Mardi Gras or Carnival. And yet during this time, during that full moon in February, that was a time for partnership. That was the opening of the portal for true partnership and where the masks begin to come off and things are much more transparent for the couple. Transparencies primarily of each other where you're able to feel and see things. See it with your eyes, but you're seeing it beyond your human eyes. You're seeing it with your heart. You're feeling, you're discerning. Now, carry us into April. We are just past the full moon in April of this year. And now what has happened just a year ago? I found my note from what I did from last April. This is for the blue rays, for the blue golden, which are the people who are the progeny of the blue rays. And all of you who have a very firm new earth connection, which actually isn't everybody right now. Bringing your four corners in from 2014 and finishing things. So this was, as you know, linear time drags very slowly for some of you. And as William Shakespeare said, time does not hold the same appeal for everyone. Why is that? Because we're impatient. We want it now. However, there's been quite a bit of setup, preparation, and finishing of old things. It was necessary to finish the old paradigm. It was necessary to remove the root cause of things. That is what the blue rays do. And so last year, many people started their finishing. It was the beginning of the finishing, which might sound like a paradox, except when it comes to twin flames, starting to finish something and be done with it has to start somewhere. A lot of you already started that. Elevating the sexual, getting rid of the old personas and a lot of weird, dark, twisty stuff that's been throwing people off. Why these weirdnesses? Why has it come to your attention that your twin is into this or into that? Or something that shows up from a past life, which is very difficult to discern. Is it a past life or is it real time? Is it live? Is it happening right now? Because you're seeing it. Or are you suddenly able to see it? And that's where it gets very confusing. And then as we went forward, um, starting to be able to close the door on this and getting the passion between you to become private because that part is important. So right now, very recently, the beginning part of this year and starting into last year, and I actually did a video about it over a year ago, a little more than a year ago that I'll tag on to the end here. Many messages about the divine masculine. The divine masculine is coming. Unions are coming. The masculine is coming. The masculine is coming. The masculine is coming. Yes, the divine masculine, the high level, high integration of the divine masculine, which actually goes into both genders, not just men. We're not just talking men here, even though we're saying masculine. And yes, many men are masculine. Some are holding the feminine, and yet they still need to integrate parts of the masculine as well. 
you may not be aware of what you may not be aware of is the extent of this, meaning the scope of it, meaning how grand and how wide and how high and how deep that this actually goes. You may not be aware because you're actually saying, well, you know, where is this person? The message said the divine masculine is here. Where are they? Okay, I'm going to explain this to you because the masculine energy has been the love that underlies all, lifts and supports, and brings emotion into motion and life. This is why it has to be in both people. Because even though you might have a person who appears one way on the outside, you're actually having to find the way of reciprocating energies between you two. There's a way to do that. And it's not going to be through a discussion or an argument. It's through love making. So your very first mission, if you will, a lot of people want to know what's their mission. And then they go off half cocked and they get egg on their face and they're not sure if they're doing it or not. The very first thing is a focus on being new and what actually is here for you. Because what's been promised has been delivered and it's up to you to blossom it out. So that is um, the delivery. The message is about the divine masculine. Yes, it's been delivered. Pick it up. Put it inside you. How do you do this? Okay. Now, all of the key codes, the DNA, and the templates have arrived. Everything from those faraway places or for your reinvented planet where you know, you imagine certain things because you've met people and you have little glimpses of memories and yet you may not know the extent of it. Not right now. Why? Because those memories need to stay aside for a moment here. The bigger focus is getting the people together, getting people into their physical union, physical union, physical union. It is time now for integration, assimilation, and assisting your own twin. Your light body demands it, and many people are still feeling things through their body. Sense of vertigo, a sense of um, being tethered down. You might still be seeing your twin planting roots with someone, and it is very upsetting for you because you can feel things. And this will continue for people for over the next several years as more waves come through. But for the first wave people, there are things for you to know about finishing your preparation. Finish your preparation for your physical union, especially if you're not together. But I would say triply so if you're together. If you're together and you want those next levels, time to kick the light body into high gear. Because if you're not letting go of things, things will still um, continue to break up or you will feel like breaking up. It's that simple. This is why some couples, and this is, gets hard to discern, if you are in your union and you're already with your twin, many people know it. But when they start breaking up, it throws people off and the head kicks in and the head says, maybe that wasn't my twin. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. How you're going to know is by feeling. How you're going to feel is through your light body. How you're going to discern is through your body templates and your connections. So the template of new 5D relationship. What does this mean, 5D relationship? Because a lot of people take it to mean, oh, we're going to have a 5D relationship. Would it actually, in a, yes, you will, but in a, broader based sense, what it means is that you're having a relationship from 5D to everything, okay? There's no more little boxes or compartments of your life. So this is why the addictions will still rear its ugly head until it's eliminated from your light body, not from the hard drive, from the light body and all your connections. Your body isn't here to hold or support disease or illness. You're not becoming a fifth dimensional being once again where you relate from 5D if you're sick, ill, 
um, if you have addictive tendencies and some of you, it's not you, it could be your other. This is why you have to assist them. It's incumbent on you. It's important. How do you solve a problem like your twin has? How do you solve a problem like your twin has? Do, 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 do. Well, guess what? It's up to you. It's in you. In other words, it's in you. It's a part of you. It's a part of what you share. You share parts. When you don't address things, when you don't know what to do, I have the things to do about this. I have the ways of helping you to break up because I am one of the people who has helped to create this template. Um, and again, you might say, well, Patricia, you're, you're a person too, just like we're a person. Yes, except I'm a Blu-ray Rod and Staff Union. That is what we've been tasked with is to make it new, create it, deliver it. It's been delivered, okay? The delivery system is through us. And some of you have heard me talk about grid work where I've gone from place to place to place and traveled and gotten this done and you allow your body to be the conduit. It's been delivered to the largest extent possible right now. All of the key codes, all of the DNA, all of the templates. I'm not a gatekeeper. Perceiving that there's some gatekeeper to your union is erroneous now. It's not that there aren't people that still try to do these old patterns of blocking or keeping things status quo. They try because that's what works for them. They're still surviving. They might be hanging on your union. And all of the old paradigms. So some people may begin anew. This may mean breaking up resolving old paradigm patterns, old school, old paradigm, um, divorces, and couples who are coming together and will be together must continue to open, expand, and utilize their new light body. Form this template around you. You're customizing it. Okay, it's like someone having you handing you the basic pattern. Here's how it goes. But you two have to customize it to each other. That's probably in a loose way, the best way I can describe it. So the masculine energy being what supports and puts the emotion into motion. So for example, if you have a situation where you feel inspired and you're like, ooh, ooh, but then you, you can't get that going, you can't get it off the ground. Guess what the masculine energy does? Rocket launcher helps you launch. If you are putting up the wall, if you are denying your twin, if you are keeping them at bay, keeping that at arm's length, and I will say this, if you have become violent with each other, or the words restraining order have entered into your conversation or court, yeah, you might need to back off for a while, in all honesty. However, this process doesn't stop. You allow some space in the physical, but the metaphysical is what I teach about. How would you resolve those things? How would you get things to where they need to be? How do you love each other again? How do you love with a love that's beyond this world? the way that you feel and sense all the possibility of it. And maybe you've gone through soulmate after soulmate saying, I thought it was possible, but it wasn't. It all fell apart. Where is it? What is it? I've been looking for love in all the wrong places. And you even, you know, for people that meet their twin, you might even dialogue about it. And sometimes what comes out of people is what needs to come out. However, it's not always pretty. It's not tactful. It's not polite. People are still learning their bedside manners and refining themselves with each other. And you have a couple and they know each other. And one of them is saying, you know, I love you, but you have this thing. You always seem to attract everyone. You attract everyone, it, it's, it's like you send out pheromones like animals do, like, 
like it's like everyone in the room can sense it. Well, well, what about you? Every time that someone comes near me, I can feel you. You get jealous. You get upset. You want to pull away and withdraw. Well, well, what should I do? Am I supposed to stay and watch it and take it all in? Am I here to support that? No. But then in those moments, I have to think about myself. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, that's all you do sometimes is think about yourself. Oh, don't even say it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say it. No, don't you dare use that N-word on me. What? Yeah, I'm going to use the N-word. You're a, you're a, you're a, you're a narcissist. There, I said it. You're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. Well, 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 you're a pessimist. Well, um, huh. Hmm. Um, you, all you do is think about yourself. Well, you just said that. You just said that. Why are you calling names? Why are we calling names to each other? You know, I'm not trying to judge you. I'm just trying to be myself. Yes, but when you be yourself, you're not being who I first met. You're being the center of attention. You're being someone who needs all kinds of props. Yes, so I can't help it if people are drawn to me. Oh, yes, you can. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. You don't respect me. You don't care about me. Yes, I love you. Well, you have a funny way of showing it. Well, well, you have a funny way of showing things because when you, the minute you're relaxed, all you do is drink. You have drinks and then more drinks and, and you call it getting mellowed out. I wake up with headaches sometimes. Did you know this? No. What, how could my headaches, how could my drinking cause you a headache? And they are just starting to now realize how they actually do affect each other so that no matter how they decide to pull apart and say, I can't handle this, it's too intense. I can't handle this, it's too intense. They pull apart. They're going to continue to still feel each other, feel the effect of what the other is doing in their life. How do you get it to where someone has gone to the next level? And... They meet their twin. So I also did a video I called the receiver twin. Who's going to receive? Who's receiving? Who's on the receiving end? They both are. Shh. They both are. Okay. But um, one person usually has to stay still. There are a lot of you who are staying still and expecting your twin to somehow get it. Well, that is what I am here to teach about. So if there are um, addictive behaviors in the union, which can be anything, it could be gambling, shopping, money addictions, addictions to people, addictions to drama, drugs, alcohol, medications, pharmaceuticals, you know, and, and twins do feel the ill effects of that. They get things like brain fog. Um, angelic light bodies can only tolerate so much of something. And I don't want to hear any rants about, you know, how we don't need medicine. Some people do need medicine. Some people go the traditional route. And there are doctors and nurses who are very fine twin flames who use their intuitions when they treat people. And there's a lot that's been learned about abuses of everything. Everything. Okay, so um, there's a lot that's getting corrected. Don't get distracted out there. Don't distract yourself with the wrong things, okay? Focus on your union. Focus on each other. If there are addictions, um, including things like pornography, it's going to start right here, this webinar that I have, your angelic light body in transition. How do you get yourself extricated from this? How do you help your twin extricate and clear these things? Because now a lot of it is on you. The masculine is no longer holding the world on its shoulders. The world has been handed to all of you. The four corners of the universe has been distributed very evenly. Even if you don't think so, it has. And now it is a bit of a hunker down job Get yourself into the receiving. Okay, stop the wondering, start the receiving, and 
try this one. This is very good. This is very good for jump starting all of the organs along the solar plexus, all of the connections here, the Hara Chakra, the sacred sexual, and getting things up and cleared out. That is what these are for. These are to not only round out the picture, I have the waves in here, which are encoded. They could be called key codes. They could be called templates. These, these include exercises so that you can get your channels open, get a comfort level with this, and release easily, and receive what belongs to you. The other one, if you are needing to break up with things, whether it is a soulmate relationship, a job, if you want to break up with the old paradigm and all the structures in it, health system, education system, judicial system, the penal system, um, I think I said health care, other organizations, religious holds on people. It's not that we don't all feel certain aspects of religion or the truth in things or spirituality. There's a thing here, ladies and gentlemen. The spirit is being brought into matter, but you have several subtle bodies, not just your spiritual body. Yeah, the spirit body is one of your subtle bodies. You have a psyche, you have, uh, you're dissolving your ego, you have parts that connect you to your subtle bodies that you share with your twin. So if you need to help them break up with something, try this one, Universal Divorce. This is about six hours of material. It's very reasonable. And this does have a meditation in there as well as several exercises. There's about six exercises in here. And I want to be very clear here. I'm a twin flame healer. I am one of the very high level twin flame healers. My healing history goes way back. My history of being a healer, I should say, goes way back, way back, way back. And I've been tasked with quite a bit of this. And I'm very happy to say I did take all of the suggestions given to me by my guidance, by my higher self, and I have this ready to present. Now, you know, this isn't, this isn't here to say, oh, well, you're doing it wrong. What I am saying is this is twin flame specific. This is specific because of where you two are connected with each other. And I outline it in throughout several webinars. And also, your energies twine in each other and also outside of each other. So how do you get your channels open so that you're holding each other easily? So that that very thing that you want where you say, I'm holding my union. I'm in an internal union. And you can feel it even if your twin goes to the store or goes to another country on a business trip. You're not faced with separation anxiety. And that's been something that people have been feeling. They've been feeling nauseous here. They've been feeling tight and anxious here. They've been having headaches, especially a sense of having a migraine headache. And how do you get this gone? Also, the same one I've recommended in my past three videos still applies, Divine Lovers Cosmic Body Reconnection. So if you've had some of these other ones, try this one. If you've gotten this one, dig it out again because it will actually be very helpful for you. Now, doing the webinars is not all I do. I do have live webinars where I do invite participation from people and we do a group meditation in it. That's how we end. And where the focus is very specific, okay? I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do follow-ups with people. So if you've had a session and you want to follow up, get my spirit chat. If you're not sure and you just want some questions answered, get a spirit chat with me. I do a Cosmic Heart Reconnection, but I also do the chat. I also am going to be doing live workshops. So you'll find the information on my website, which is www.twinflamesmerge.com. The best way to contact me is through there or my email, 
which is also on the website. So there's a place where you can um, put in a contact. And yes, I do this in the priority of people who are seeking or if you get this and or maybe, you know, you can't navigate it. Um, I do very much appreciate everyone who has participated and gotten the webinars. Thank you so much because the feedback has been invaluable. That just helps me improve the experience for everyone really because this is how we have the finger on the pulse of what's needed. It's not going to be through random questions. It's going to be what is going to be more broad based and be very helpful to people because the physical union happens. Now, when people are in their physical union, and you might say, that's a utopia I've dreamed of. I know it. I've seen it in my dream time. What you've usually seen is the fifth dimension. Here at this physical level of living, there may still be responsibilities. There may still be responsibilities like children, putting food on the table, keeping a roof over the head, all of your basic stuff is still going to come into play. Nobody's going to evaporate right away and leave this physical plane. However, what you want to ditch or get rid of or dump out is all of the stuff that you don't want to bring with you. It's going to be addictive stuff. It's going to be male, female uh, relationship dynamics like, like these two. You know, I really enjoy your humor, but you are too sarcastic with me. I'm not being sarcastic. That's not sarcasm. That's just pointing things out. Yes, but it's so biting, and every time you use your voice like that, I can feel it. It doesn't feel good. Oh, you're crazy. I don't know what. Oh, ooh, he didn't just say that, did he? Ooh. Guess what? You're not crazy, ladies and gentlemen. You're not crazy. Okay, you feel what you feel. However, expressions of the mouth usually will involve the ego mind. So I give you ways in here to be able to connect with your twin to deepen your heart communication so that those things that you might see of your real life and how things really are, really aren't just a dream. So thank you so much for watching. Um, these will be available in the link down below. I have more live webinars coming up and I teach about the body. I teach about the light body, the light body. That is my primary focus along with the light body. So if there's things like inner child, abandonment issues, I address that in these webinars. Um, behaviors, addictions, okay? Um, abuses. I address these in here. I am a person that believes in find the quickest, most expedient way of resolving things. And that's what I believe I have here. So if, you know, these aren't, these are long, but these are not, you know, an entire year's thing. You don't have time. <laughs> We're already in April. We've already closing the that cardinal cross this month. Next month is going to be very, very physical and beyond. You're going to this and beyond. Physical union, physical union, physical union. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you celebrate the holiday this weekend or if you're celebrating holidays, take your family with a grain of salt. Okay, cut people slack. You're probably going to know things. Don't let things get to you. Don't get into political discussions. Don't get into, you know, anything you don't want to. Breathe. I strongly suggest if you're at a dinner, get up and walk after dinner and go out for fresh air and walk. It'll do your tummy good. It'll do your spirit good. So have a nice week and weekend. Bye now.